The Federal is organizing the Kanyakumari Mini Marathon 2024 to commemorate Mother's Day and Nurses Day this year on May 12. This event is sponsored by Repco Home Finance. West Bengal Governor C.V. Ananda Bose is in the eye of a storm over sexual harassment charges against him. A woman staffer at Raj Bhavan has alleged that the West Bengal Governor had molested her. The Trinamul Congress had flagged the issue while Bose has refuted the charges with the age-old phrase that tainted politicians use. Truth would triumph. However, what does the complaint mean? Does it mean Bose would face the law? The answer is no. Governors are immune to criminal proceedings under Article 361 of the Constitution, which states that no criminal proceedings shall be instituted against the President or the Governor of a state in any court during his term of office. But are there similar instances in the past when governors were accused of criminal offences? In 2017, then Meghalaya Governor V. Shanmuganathan was accused of sexual harassment after complaints were made that he had compromised the dignity of Raj Bhavan by bringing several young women to his bedroom, he resigned from his post. However, what became the talking point was the lack of legal proceedings despite him quitting his post. The Supreme Court in 2010 in the BP Singhal vs Union Government of India case held that the centre can remove the governor from office for valid reasons without giving them a notice to explain but the move will be judicially reviewable. So the question was, why didn't the Modi government exercise this and sack Shanmuganathan on the basis of the prima facie evidence which surfaced and facilitate police investigation against him promptly? Shanmuganathan was a top-ranking BJP and RSS leader before he was handpicked by the BJP for the assignment in 2015. At the time, the BJP's contention was that Shanmuganathan lost his job because of his tireless fight against religious conversions in general and in the Northeast in particular. On November 20, 2015, the Supreme Court issued a notice to then Madhya Pradesh Governor Ram Naresh Yadav on a plea seeking his removal for his alleged involvement in the Forest Guard recruitment scam, one of the cases in the Vyapam scam. The appeal petition argued that the immunity from criminal prosecution that a governor enjoys would cease to operate the moment acts of misdemeanor surface. The lawyers of the petitioners contended that a person occupying the office of governor must be above suspicion and must possess pristine antecedents as they are endowed with the power to appoint high dignitaries, including high court judges and the chief minister. So now the question with regard to the controversy surrounding West Bengal Governor C.V. Ananda Bose is whether the centre will sack him and initiate criminal proceedings against him. If we look at history, this is less likely to happen. The Federal is organizing the Kanyakumari Mini Marathon 2024 to commemorate Mother's Day and Nurses Day this year on May 12. This event is sponsored by Repco Home Finance. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.